Afternoon guys, welcome back to Don Amots today. You've got myself James and you've got Wendy behind the camera. Something a little bit different today and you wouldn't have seen a video on one of these yet. It's a bit more new, unique, special. You would have seen them first at the October NEC show and then again in the February show with my good self on the stand. But we have got the Bailey Allura 694i. So this is Bailey's first dip into the compact range van so i would probably say these are for the people that want a panel van but they want the flexibility and the spacious size of a coach built motorhome but with this and if you look down the side wind you can see how skinny they are so unlike a lot of motorhomes where they protrude a fair bit over you know your 15 20 centimeters um, larger than the cab shall I say with this they're not they're not actually that much wider and that goes all the way down and again with your roof line they're not excessively high or any bulbuses on top and being the 694 it's 6.9 meters so it's under that magic seven meters so for a lot of ferries Euro tunnel other stuff like that normally that keeps your costs a little bit lower as well now you can drive this on any driving license so it's you don't need your C1 luckily. So it's a four travel, three berth van. We've got the island bed at the back, so that's a 694i, so for the island. And then we've also got, like the popular Adamos, we've got your two pop-up seats in the front. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. So initially, start on the cab, so it's a Ford cab. Now we've upgraded this one, so it's got the automatic gearbox, so it's the six speed auto, the really good, really lovely smoothless change. It's the two litre diesel, with your high brake horsepower engine as well. This has also got your black wheels, which I think looks really smart and is a nice change from the norm with motorhomes. I think they're too many have got those silver wheels and these just look like a bit more modern, sleek, unique, lovely gray side. Now, for the people there who know about Bailey, you'll see more of their caravan range coming from this as well, and especially their autograph range, so their creme de la creme, shall I say. So I think it's a wonderful carry on. And another little feature I've really like on these, recessed windows. Yeah. Sounds so silly, but once you get up close, I just think that's so much better and it just stops any air from getting in. Just a much better design. Obviously you've got all the Allura branding and the 694i branding. You've got the Truma exhaust heating there. I'll go on to about that in a minute as well, because that's a bit unique for this van as well. We'll have a look at the garage on the other side, because I've already unlocked that. But coming around the back, got the led style lights rear view camera just below the the uh, high level brake light and then you've got the bike racks on the back as well so you're not compromising on anything like that you've still got it here so coming around here a really large garage and it's one silly little thing that i like about these they're carpeted yeah so you've just got a bit of sound deadening yeah and it's just it's just nicer it's isn't it? yeah and as you can see you've got your freestanding table there as well and the inserts are obviously for the inside. A few strap down points in here. And then also, rather than a gas locker being on the outside, you've got it for the single gas bottle on the inside as well. So it's not really actually taking any extra space in all fairness. Oh, there is a light in there as well, which yeah. you may have been obvious because yeah. it was quite well lit. All right, shut that. So coming further around, you've got your water point. And then you've got your lovely toilet, which I won't waste your time with okay so coming through here we have got a fly screen on that door and blackout blind on there with your bin so Wendy yeah. if you go first okay. so let's just shut that because it's a bit breezy today so coming into the cab area so these are both captain's chairs yeah. and again this is where I think they're just a bit more unique so with the Allura you've got this lovely finish it's, it's really nice feel yeah. it feels like a suede in the middle it isn't but that's what it feels like you've got the Bailey embossed and that comes along your top here as well with your Allura branding just below your massive skylight now in the front I've not seen any other motorhomes with this yet but it's got the massive Ford touchscreen in there I think that's probably the best touchscreen I've seen in any motorhome as of yet. Yeah. You have all your heating controls through there, reversing camera through there, Google, um, sorry, Android Play, um, 
Apple and oh gosh, I can't get my words out here. The connection for your Apple phones and for your Google phones. Sorry, everyone, my mind's gone blank for a moment. As you can see, you've got your automatic gearbox in there as well. USB connections, cruise control, all your multifunction steering wheel as well. A lot of the new spec, automatic headlights. This has got cab blinds and also your cab windscreen blind as well everything you need and one other little thing on there you have got automatic electric parking brake on these so none of that old ford handbrake yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's really nice so this area just here that wendy and myself are in at the moment this is your lounge but it's also where you make your large and spacious single bed up so you sleep uh across lengthways uh, not lengthways um transverse that's your one. Thank you, Wendy. It's been a long day. Um, so up above, got shelvings and storage units, aerial in there as well. And then, so we've got three of these along the whole cabin of the vehicle. Very similar on this side, just without the aerial. And then above the kitchen, above with another plug socket up here as well. So if you wanted to plug anything else in, you can. So coming down, we'll talk about the Truma unit while we've got it here. So it's touchscreen, as you've just seen. So it's diesel heating on these now. So rather than gas or lecky, diesel heating. So as long as you've got over a quarter of a tank of diesel in the in the in the quarter of a tank of diesel, yeah. of fuel, so, sorry, yeah. this is going to be working. Really easy to use. Just below, a couple of plug sockets, and then you've got your kitchen. So it's a massive bowl for the size of van. Yeah. And with your extension on the side here as well. Obviously, a flat flick stand, you've got your lounge area. Just below, large drawer. And below that, large cupboards as well. So on this side, you've got your combi. And just below, above, sorry, not below. God, I'm mixing up all words today. You've got your free gas burner and then your hot plate as well. Just below that, another cupboard door with a lot more space. Yeah, it is. God, that's a lot deeper than I expected as well. Um, just to the side of Wendy, you've got your television point, which then pulls out and is extendable yeah. and also foldable. Lovely big vanity mirror and your main controls up here as well with TV aerial point, 12 volt and also your three pin. So if Wendy goes through to the bathroom, probably easy if we do it like this. this is yeah, it is. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that on the video that well, can you? But yes, this is curved. I nice. really like that. Um, shower and toilet. So it is a wet room, but underneath here, so A, that's carpeted, but that just comes out. So it's your shower tray underneath that. But that's, a, that's, a, that's a solid floor. So you're not standing on plastic. So if you just go into the loo or doing your teeth or whatever. Um, shower head comes out. It's a really clever design. That's your one. That's it. And then this door slides across yeah. and shuts it off when you need it to yeah. really simple oh sorry wendy don't worry i'll do that in a minute that's it ah yeah it's cracking it's cracking yeah it is really clever and then that just folds back it's, it's a lot of extra space it's just a magnet just there as well Really nice, really, really nice. And then, I was just about to do that. That's it. Then that just comes across there as well and you flick that out. So then obviously, you know, I don't know if people noticed initially, but you wouldn't really be able to sit on the toilet previously. Well, now you can. And obviously, I know it wasn't as obvious previously, but now you can use obviously the tap nice yeah. and easily. Yeah. Just, it's clever how they've done it. Right, towel rack. Up there as well with another skylight. One thing we didn't mention in the kitchen, I do apologise. Yeah, really big fridge. Large freezer as well. It's just a really good space. Drawer that pulls out. It's perfect. Okay, and then the main bit. So obviously you've got your island bed. Now at the moment we've got this in the travel position, so the back of it's pushed backwards. Otherwise you can push it like so, and then it comes all the way out. Is it, yeah, it's still definitely get around there, no question. And then underneath here, you do have more room. So those bits are to create the bed in the front. And then underneath, as you can probably see, thank you, Wendy. 
and you've got that both sides yeah. and they are really really deep really yeah it is story. really clever and then if i just drop that back round and then either side you've also got your wardrobe areas back here as well thank you your light over there wendy has got a usb connection yeah. as well and then extra bit of cubby that's it it's wonderful yeah. um now you've got your mirror area just behind you yeah. and that does fold out as well that's it, mm. wow. that's it. It's, it's really clever it's really cool. yeah it is and then just here we've also got i just going to do that You've got your partition which goes across so it completely shuts yeah. your bedroom off as well. So you can have two completely individual spaces. Just do that. And you've got more light switches on my side and a 230 volt down here as yeah. well. Okay. All right. So. Okay, we'll have a play with that in a minute because I've locked Wendy in for the minute. It's just it's a two-handed <laughs> job rather than one. Anyway, I think that's pretty much summed up the whole of the van, so thank you very much. This is the first one we've got here, so I can't see it hanging around for long for obvious reasons because I don't think many of the dealers in the UK have got them. So feel free, my name's James, ask me questions about it. Come down, pick our brains. It's still new to us guys as well, so we're still learning, but I think value for money and... A lot of people now aren't wanting these larger, longer vans. Well, that tick, this ticks all those boxes, you know, and it's still a spacious van. You've seen Wendy and me move around in here. And we've never been cramped, never been pushed for space. And I think it's perfect for that. So if you're wanting a panel van, but slightly bigger, slightly more space, this is your answer. Or if you're wanting to come down from a larger van, but still want all the functionality and the usability of that larger van, just in something a bit more dinky, this has answered your, your prayers again, shall I say. Thank you very much. Like I say, my name's James. If I'm not available, as for one of the other girls or guys here, will be more than happy to help, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.